welcome to our home. Uh, I am the Goob, and as you can see, uh, Princess isn't here with us. Um, you know, she can dance if she wants to. She can leave her friends behind. Because her friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, then they're no friends of mine. <laughs> Anyways, uh, she's got dance all this week, so uh, not really much time to record. Um, but I thought I'd just do an episode by myself. So uh, this is Gulps and Games, the weekly show where we have some gulps, give a little background on that, and then we play a game and uh, give a little how-to on that. Um, so uh, what I brought this week is called Red Diamond Merlot. Now, they have a website on the back of the bottle, but when you type in reddiamondwine.com, it literally just sends you to a link of putting in your uh, address to find where they sell it. There's not a single thing about the winery, but what I did find out is that it comes from uh, CSB, uh, which is Craig Stein Beverages. So I'll give you the background on Craig Stein here then. In 1990, Craig Stein founded uh, C. Stein Dis Distributing Incorporated in Vancouver, Washington. He only had 11 employees, and uh, he bought Cascade Distributing in order to open it. So it was their employees. Um, 91, he acquired Fort Wine. Then in 93, he got Cowlitz Distributing. 96, he got Longview Ice and Storage and R&R &R Distributing. In 1998, he changed the name to C. Stein Beverage Group, CSBG, and uh, he acquired Spirit Distributing Company in Boise, Idaho. Um, there is another good one on here. Okay, 2008, he acquired Coors Distributing Company. So he got uh, Coors Beer. Um, and he just kept growing his company. I mean, even 2019, he, he got Alpha Distributing. Um, so he he owns a lot of different companies um, of beer that, um, you know, we, uh, 24 acquisitions, largest beer, wine, spirits, and non-alcohol soft drink and snack distributors in the Northwest and Intermountain Market areas. Um, so I mean, yeah, he just he just keeps acquiring place after place, and uh, went from having eleven employees to twenty four different companies. There's a list of them. I was going to look for that real quick, but I don't see it real quick. Um, but yeah, Coors Coors is a big one, and uh, this. Red Diamond Wine is one of them. It's from Washington State. Um, I got the Merlot. Red Diamond has always been an outlet for winemaking exploration. Their team of winemakers aim to take any grape varietal and showcase its rich, fruit-forward qualities, a style that has always made Red Diamond wines approachable and exciting. This Merlot features softly spiced black cherry, berry, and plum flavors. So, it was a affordable wine. Um, a lot of them say that that's, you know, it's, it's cheap wine. Um, a lot of the websites are calling it that. So, um, I don't think the term cheap wine is meant as an insult. I think that's why I usually they call it affordable. Um, I got this at Kroger's. It actually looks like it's less expensive at Walmart. Almost half the price at Walmart. Swirl, sniff. Well, hi. Em. Mm. 
It's good. Um, it's dry. I can taste the cherry. I like it. It doesn't. It doesn't taste cheap like you would think. You know, if they call it cheap, you're expecting like a cheap flavor. It's good for an affordable wine. It's good. So uh, this week's game, I do have a couple solo games. A lot of the cooperative games are you're able to play with one to so many players. This game is only designed for one player to play. Um, and I didn't see that when I bought it, so I thought, hey, maybe we can do a solo video. But uh, Cristalo. Uh, this was a game I got at Koi's Comics, and I actually I really liked the, the bag. The bag kind of I thought was really cool. Um, so Cristalo is a single player game. And there's uh, the story. The wicked black dragon has captured six magical creatures from all over the countryside, imprisoning them in his lair with his powerful crystal magic. Your mission is to free these creatures using the black dragon's own crystal magic against him. Should you succeed in freeing them all, you can attempt to trap the dragon in his own lair. Collect treasures along the way to aid you in your quest, and you may emerge a wealthy champion. Also, it is the uh, first first Friday of Pride Month, so a shout out to any of our LGBT uh, viewers out there. Um, this game is tech kind of, and you know, it's got the rainbow gems. <laughs> Red, orange, yellow, no green, but it's got like a light blue kind of green. Blue and indigo. No violet. <laughs> Alright, so first off is the setup. Uh, you have a few different types of cards. You have your, uh, your key card. This just helps you to remember what all the different matches are. You have your dragon card. Those ones you set face down over to the side. Then you have your uh, character, your uh, creature cards, the ones that you're going to be unlocking. So you have the Firefox, the uh, the Phoenix, the Unicorn, the Ice Wolf, the Seahorse, and the Fairy. Then you put the corresponding colored gemstones on, on their spots. They each have three, cir three uh, circles on them and um, three colored gemstones to match them. The object of the game in phase one is to free the creatures by removing all the gemstones off of their cards. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second when we get to the next spot set up. So then you put your black dragon to the side. You, I'll, I'll give it one shuffle. I kind of shuffled it before, but just a, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You put nine cards out of the pile and you put them to the side and then you're ready to start playing. So you draw one card and you put it right in the center of the board. Each card has four things on it usually. Some of them have three, and I think I've seen some with only two. So you place that one down, then you draw another card, and now this one you want to connect to, um, you have to connect a gemstone to a gemstone. So um, you, you want to make matches, so the object of this is to get three gemstones and then one of the circles all in a square. Um, and now you can do all same color and the same shape, you can do all the same color but different shapes. So as long as they're all the three of the same color, it doesn't matter what what shapes they are. Um, except you can't have two of the three and one of the twos. They'd have to all be three of the different different shapes. Uh, all different colors but the same shape, or different colors, different shapes. So you place it next to it, either vertically or horizontally, and you can even overlap it. You can only do gemstone 
next to gemstone. So I'm actually going to place this over top of it. <sighs> Maybe not. Yeah. Like so. Actually, I don't think that's one of the... Let me make sure. I'm going to have to do that. It gives you examples of how you can place them in here. And this is one of them. So... And you just keep doing this. Um, So, so, some of the cards do have some um, pictures on them. There are three different types of um, pictures. Um, there are the, the riches. Those just add to your treasure at the end of the game. There's the magic items and there's the bat battle items. You have to get all three of them in order to unlock whatever the bonuses are for them. And you have to, uh, and um, in order to do that, you have to unlock both of the circles. Um, I haven't even unlocked one yet, but if I do, if you unlock both circles on that card, you unlock that, that you get to take that card at the end of the round. <sighs> Just getting a whole lot of nothing. They're all the they're all the same, you know, they don't they don't work with what I'm trying to do. Okay, so right here, I now have all three the same color and the same shape. There's a red one right next to it, so that means I have to take one red gemstone off of the Firefox and put it right there. So what this does now is this locks that card into position. I can't cover that spot up now, like how I kind of covered up all these spots here in order to do that. I also have right here all three of the same shape but different colors, but there's no... There's no um, circle right here so I don't not doesn't unlock anything. Alright, so here's another spot. All the same color, all the same gemstone. This one is the fairy. So you have to take one of the fairies and move that over there. Now, right here, even though these two are part of this design, I get to, I can put this card right here, which allows me to unlock this one. 
um, because I am doing gemstone next to gemstone, and uh, you can use you can use them in the same grouping. So now you just keep playing like this until you either successfully get all the gemstones off of the cards, all six of them, or you run out of cards. If you run out of cards, the game's over. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, turn, on, turn it off and keep playing, and I'll come back in when I reach the next, uh, next phase. All right, so I finished playing, and uh, I was... I used all my cards, so that means it's over. Um, I did not mention that once you place a card, you can't move it. So, like, even though this one, um, this one right here, I could not move anywhere. Same with this one there. Uh, I got all but one gemstone on the seahorse. So, that's the end of the game, technically. Um, but, uh, so you would go to your titles. Um, I failed to free the creatures, so I received the title of commoner. And I collected zero treasures, so I get the um, the uh, word impoverished to my uh, title. So I am an impoverished commoner, and that's only worth 50 points. So I could fill that in in the log back here, and um, it just keeps place of who played and um, what their title was, all that stuff. So uh, um, you also, if you if you did free the creatures but you failed to trap the dragon, you get liberator. If you trapped the black dragon and you had no extra cards remaining, you're a vanquisher. If you trapped the dragon with one card remaining, you're a knight. With two cards remaining, you're a hero. With three or more, you're a champion. If you had four to six treasures, then you're a pop prosperous. And if you had seven to all nine of them, you're wealthy. And the, so pretty much you want to be a, uh, a wealthy champion, and that's the highest score you can get. Um... I'm going to go ahead and get set up for uh, phase two. I'm going to, let's assume that I succeeded in unlocking everyone and I had zero cards remaining. Um, I used all of my cards to do that. You clear off the play area. You put all the gemstones to the side in a pile. Any of the item cards that you would have unlocked, you get to set to the side um, to use. Because if you if you unlock all three of the riches, you collect all three riches treasures and add one more additional treasure to my final score. If you uh, if you collect all three magic treasures, you may remove one gem from any creature or add one gem to the black dragon during the black dragon phase. If you collect all three battle treasures, you may draw one extra card during the black dragon phase. So, first off, you clear the playing field, like I said. Uh, Also, as you clear the gems off of the characters, it says to push them up to the top to show that they're um, released if you want to. These get put, it just says face up over to the side. Um, you get nine cards, the nine that you set aside. If there was any cards that you did not play during the freeing of the, cre of the um, creatures stage, you get to add those to these nine. You then put the two dra black dragon cards down and uh, you have to get one of each gems on him. Then you get to flip over all the cards that you have. Because in this stage, you get to look at them. Make sure that you have at least 
one of each one of the six characters. So fairy, unicorn, phoenix, ice wolf, uh, firefox, and seahorse. So now you're doing the same thing that you did before. You're matching up the cards in order to unlock them. Same key and everything. Um, so right here, I now have a, um, I have one of each color and they're all the same shape. So that's a phoenix, so I get to put the phoenix gem on the black dragon card. That's a firefox. Okay. I have another orange one. Water dragon, seahorse. That get a fairy and an ice wolf. Shoot. 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 Oh, I'm sorry, as you also do that, you're supposed to put the gemstones on the corresponding spots that you were unlocking them on. And see, I put myself in a little pickle right here because I don't have enough cards or moves in order to unlock the last two. Um, yeah, there's just nothing I can do to get the last two. Yep, so I would lose the dragon um, one. There was just, I didn't put them down. Um, I just didn't, ha I don't have any moves that I can make that will make any more matches for the ones that I need to unlock yet. Um, so uh, that's the end of the game, so I wouldn't have won the black dragon phase. But that's just, that's how you do that. So I think this is kind of a fun game. Um, it's different than just playing solitaire by yourself all the time. Um, it's difficult. And, I mean, that's good, because if it was easy, you would beat it super easily and be over with, done with. You wouldn't have it to play anymore. Um, but, yeah, um, I definitely, it definitely has replayability to it, and uh, that makes it a fun game. Um, thanks for coming. Uh, as always, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Um, if you have any friends that you think would enjoy this, please have, have them hit that subscribe button. We're trying to reach 100. Once we reach 100, it makes things easier to like build up from there. We do want to have a nice giveaway when we hit there, and we're halfway there. So help us get to that number 100 so we can have a fun giveaway on here. Uh, I don't... Let's see, which one's this one? Um... I just can't see my calendar. It's covered up right now. Happy birthday to Toby. His birthday is uh, the day after this video will come out. Um, uh, we're looking forward to having you on one of our shows. We have the Odds One Outs uh, uh, game to play with you, so that'll be a lot of fun. But happy birthday. I hope it's a fun one. And uh, I don't think there's anyone else's birthdays. Uh, Princess didn't tell me. So, uh, yeah, thanks for coming. Cheers.